So today we are going to be working with a, a flex sensor and a servo. We are going to use this flex sensor to change the position of a servo. Uh, this is new. A flex sensor is a, a plastic stripe with a conductive coating. When the stripe is straight, the coating will be a, a certain resistance. So when the stripe is bent, the particles in the coating get further apart, increasing the resistance. So you can use these sensors for uh, sensing finger movement in globes, door hinges, and stuffed animals. I mean, lots of projects you can do with this uh, flex sensor. So today, I'm going to start with the wiring. And the first thing that we will need here is uh, the Arduino microcontroller. So we are going to type microcontroller and uh, click and let's drag the microcontroller to this section of uh, Thinkercad. Next we will need a um, breadboard. And then in here we are going to draw this uh, breadboard at the bottom of the microcontroller. We can leave it like this. Our next component is going to be the flex sensor. We will need as well a servo. We are going to use the micro servo. and a resistor. So these are going to be the components that we will need. Now, we need to change the uh, value of this uh, resistor. So we are going to use a 10 kilo ohm. All right. So this uh, um, flex sensor is going to be placed on the breadboard, so I will put it right here. So it's gonna be uh, easier the wiring. Then we are placing the uh, servo can be here. And then uh, the next thing is gonna be um, the wiring. We will need uh, five volts. So we are going to connect five volts to the positive side of the breadboard, the red rail, and we change this color to red. So that way we will identify that we have here five volts. The next one is going to be our ground. We are going to draw a cable to ground of uh, the breadboard and let's change the color to blue. That way we have a, uh, the two connections and we are ready for um wiring the servo servos we need to check the connections for example in here if we click on pin number one this one is ground so we need to uh, connect this one to ground of the breadboard change to blue the next one is going to be power or five volts so we connect this one to five volts check the color and has to be in red. You can move this one like this. And the last one, the orange cable is going to be our signal. In here, our signal, we need an analog connection for reading the PWM. So this one goes to the number 9, D9 of the microcontroller. So that way we have our servo connected. The next one is going to be our flex sensor. So flex sensor, we can start with uh, the right connection, the number two. This one goes directly to ground. So we can connect here the cable. Let's change to blue. And by clicking on the cable, we can bend this one. So it's going to be easy for us to see um, the pins and connections. All right, so the next connection, which is this one, uh, we need a resistor. So that's why we have here a 10 
kilo ohm resistor. So we will bring it here. We will connect and we have to um, rotate this uh, uh, resistor horizontally. So we are going to do this and place it horizontally like this. So we have um, one of the pins is going to be connected to the red section of the breadboard or 5 volts. And the second pin, which is this one, is going to be connected to the microcontroller. In this case, it is uh, a, um, an analog connection. So we are going to look for the analog uh, A, one of the A's in this section of the microcontroller. I will put it in here, A0. Let's change the color. And we can bend this cable as well. So we will be able to see the connections. Basically, this is the wiring for um, our servo and flex sensor project. The next thing is going to be um, the code. So we are going to this section up right and we are going to use the section of text, which is this one. We are going to continue and let's erase the code that is provided by uh, Thinkercad. So in here, for moving the servo, we will need a library. So the first thing we are going to do here is to change um, this uh, to an include. And we are going to type the library for controlling the servo. So we need to, uh, to create an object called servo1. Since we have only one servo, so we are going to type uh, um, servo and then this one is servo number one. We always close with a semicolon a sentence. And then we need to define the analog input uh, to measure the flex sensor position. So we need to type a constant. So it's going to be a const integer in this case. And uh, uh, it's going to be flex pin. Flex pin and this one was connected to analog zero. And we close with a semicolon. Basically, we have our variables ready. The next thing is going to be the void setup. Void setup includes a parenthesis and a bracket. And on line number five, we're going to start typing our um, serial begin. And this one is for reading the information in the serial monitor. So serial begin. It's going to be read at 9,600 baud. Then we are going to enable um, the control of a servo on pin number 9. So we need to add that too. So my variable was servo1. And this one is attached to uh, digital 9 in our microcontroller. Basically, that is all the information that you will find in voice setup. We close with a bracket. And the next thing is going to be the function of our project or the void loop. So in here in the void loop, we are going to uh, place the inputs and the outputs. In this case, the first integer is going to be the flex position. Closing with a semicolon. And this one is going to be our input. We need to declare as well the output. So it's going to be another integer. And this one is our servo position. So that's why we have input and output declared. Um, this one is reading the position of the flex sensor from 0 to 1023. Okay, so this is the the flex position and uh, of course it's an analog reading the um, the flex sensor from 
0 to 10, 23. Flex pen. All right. So the next one is going to be the mapping. The mapping uh, is going to be as follows. Because the voltage divider um, only returns a portion. So um, this is going to be read as follows here. Servo position. is equals to the mapping of um, flex position and then in here we need to place the 600 900 0 and 80 degrees closing all right like this so these numbers are going to be um, the range from um, the servo, which goes from 0 to 180 degrees, and uh, um, the position of the flex sensor that goes so from 600 to 900. That is the, the range. So we already have um, the mapping for this uh, first uh, uh, flex uh, sensor. Now the servo position is going to be equals to strain in the servo position is going to be an angle from 0 to 180 degrees. Now we will command the servo to move to that position. So in here has to be servo one uh, in servo right servo position. Like that. So now uh, we want to see the information about the angles and the motion on our serial monitor. So we need to include the printing. So the command is going to be serial print. And in here, serial print is going to display the word sensor. Then um, the number serial print is going to display uh, the flex position in uh, the angle. Then the servo, serial print, the word servo and we'll print as well the angle, the number, servo position. So that way we can see um, data since this uh, uh, servo and the flex sensor are going to be moving at specific time, we need to declare the time with a delay. So in here we can add 20 milliseconds in C++ uh, works with milliseconds. So this number is 20 milliseconds. And uh, uh, we close with a semicolon. And basically that is all the void loop. We close with uh, a bracket. And the last thing is going to be um, testing the prototype. There is a function here in Tinkercad top left for uh, zoom, zooming the project so we can fit to our, our screen. So we are going to do this. Start the simulation to check if we have uh, errors in our code. We don't have errors in our code. So we can start um, flexing our sensor. So you will see uh, the degrees and then uh, the servo moving. And then um, let's open the serial monitor. So the information is going to be um, displayed like this. Now there are um, 
ways to manage the information on the serial monitor. As you see, in this case, it's giving you the information um, horizontally. So we can change this one to, uh, in the section print, we can put um, print LN so that we can separate the, the data. So like that. 